In part three, you're going to take the 3D Sharknado. You can put it on the side or right on the VR board, wherever. Um, and we made a duplicate, so you can edit this now. So if you ever want to take out the shadow from something you've already added, I'll show you how to do that. Okay? And this will be in the video so you guys can check later if you're not watching, right, Jordan? Right. So you can go to you can go to window, appearance, and in appearance, wherever appearance is. Oh, see how it isn't it? Illustrator's weird, right? Because it doesn't pop open that little palette. But it shows you like this. Okay, that's appearance, but it doesn't do anything. So if you want to use that, you've got to actually drag it out and open it, okay? So if you guys are ever missing it, it sometimes does that, I've noticed as well. So let's try and find that again. Appearance, there we go. And you can stack it, or you can actually put it back into your little quick toolbar there, okay? Whatever you wanna do, but you gotta drag it out to actually see it and use it. Um, okay, so in appearance, what you're gonna see, I want you to guys take a look at this. If you're creating any effects like a bevel or a drop shadow or something like that, is you can actually edit that. Because it's kind of like Photoshop in that sense. So you can, you've got some control over it. So if I want to take away that effect or edit it, I can click on it or I can trash it. So it goes back to its original format. So that's a really nice option. And that's through your appearance palette. Okay? So any kind of weird stuff you create, go to the appearance palette. You can probably edit it or take it out. Okay, so we took out the shadow. And now I'm gonna show you guys the 3D effect. Have you guys ever done that in grade nine or 10 with uh, place or uh, rocks? You might have done it very briefly, um, but now you're actually gonna experiment with it and you can actually use it for live jobs in the shop. Okay, in the 3D effect palette, it's located right up here, okay? So today we're talking a little bit about type effects. So you, and remember, it's got to be converted to outline. So you can't convert this, can't use this with just regular type. Well, you can, you just don't get the same effects. Um, there's the 3D button, right? GD. But what I'm going to do before I do that, guys, is I'm just going to make it a solid color for now. Whoops. Just make it a solid color. And maybe a little bit darker. And I'll show you why in a few moments. Okay, so no gradient. So we're going back a few steps. I'm going to select that word. I'm going to go to Effect, 3D. Okay, there's Revolve and Rotate. I don't use Rotate. I don't use those a whole lot. I use more Extrude and Bevel. Okay. You do. Yeah, it's got to be, I prefer it to be outlines, yeah. Or else this might not have the same effect. So going back in the video, I show you guys how to do that in step one. But yeah, good question. Yeah, try to keep everything in outline mode. And then the nice thing about that is if you ever make outlines, I can always go back to the original type here that I saved. Okay, so let's go back in. Effect, 3D, uh, extrude and bevel. And we're going to just see what this does here. Okay, I'm going to add a little perspective because if you guys notice, I don't know if I can zoom out here. Um, let's just bring that up so I can see both of them. So in the original Sharknado, you can see how it's kind of coming out at you, right? It's coming out of the, the, um, the camera. It's got a little bit of perspective to it. So you can create that effect through here. Go to 3D. Again, sorry, third time. Three's a charm. You can do that with the perspective tool. So let's see what that does. And again, nothing's going to happen until you hit preview. So let's mark preview. How do you know it's early dismissal? Right, so you've only got half. Yeah, you know. good luck. Good luck. Dang it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you've got rotate, which you don't want to rotate a whole lot. 
Those girls are training for uh, skills, Manitoba. So that's why they have to do these things. So yeah, we train for that. Well, <laughs> maybe better. next. There's always next year. There's always next year. Are they in grade 12? No. Okay, anyway, so did you guys see that effect that I created there? Let's uh, apply a little bit more perspective. Okay. Just to get a little bit more exaggerated there. Okay. And I'm also going to make it so that the face of the object is facing us. Right now it keeps spinning away. So let's try to move that. The nice thing about that is... You can actually adjust with that. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Um, you can adjust the extrude depth. So if you find there's too much 3D in there, you can change that extrude depth to maybe 25 or whatever you feel is enough. Okay. And so on. But I'll let you guys kind of tinker around with that. Almost done here, and then I'll let you guys go back. So once I've okayed that, take a look at preview mode. What do you guys notice? It's different, right? The, yeah, it's it looks normal in outline mode or preview mode. If you want to have a little bit more control over that, what you have to do is go to expand appearance. And I'm going to leave it there because then we'll get into a whole other area where you can actually control how that behind the face type changes colors, right? Because in here, you've got the red type in front, and after it gets 3D-ish, it changes, right? That's a whole nother tutorial. So what I'm going to do, last thing you do on this one, is you're going to go to Object, Expand Appearance. Okay? If you want, sorry, I said that was done there, but I'll just go through this quickly. I can select all this with the direct selection. I go back to my gradient. I can run a gradient through that and create that effect. So it's close. We're getting there. It's still not perfect, but I just wanted to show you that. So now what I want you guys to do, uh, let me just stop the video there.